and yeah, here uh, is a video that I made about throwing pots with raw clay, unprocessed clay that I dug from a creek bank. And um, the clay is very uneven in its overall texture. There are hard spots, soft spots. Uh, it's not. It, I barely wedged it, um, and I'm coning it up here. And you can see that uh, there's a pile of clay to the side and that's because the little piece just came up on my thumb there uh, because of the unevenness uh, pieces of it were coming off the whole time I was throwing that's why there's the little pile off the side there but now I'm getting it um, down I've coned it up a couple of times I'm having to clean it off my hands like I said it's coming off in, in chunks and, and uh, pieces and anyway I'm getting the piece uh, ready to um, be open and you notice that wobble it's very responsive it has very it's uh, porcelain like in the response but um, trickier um, but anyway now I've got it uh, coned up and everything I'm ready to open I'm opening it and it takes a little more water for some reason to open this clay because um, on all the pieces I threw I had to use a little more water and now I'm making the bottom pulling it out it's very uneven, so it's kind of like um, a dodgy bottom, so I'm really I'm having to work pretty hard to get the bottom right. But um, now that it is ready, um, I'm getting ready to make a pull. And the pulls are uneven, too, because there's clay coming off. You can see it flying off as I'm going up. Um, it's that unevenness, but you just keep pushing through and working with what's left um, to get your cylinder up. And um, it's uh, that pull was a little better, so apparently you get a little bit of homogenization um, through the the act of making the pulls. And um, I'm going to make another pull, and you can still see there's a chunk at the bottom that has flown off when I started that pull. I think uh, next I'm, I'm going to uh, neck it in so that it's... And these are funky pieces because this is funky clay. And I'm not going for anything really uh, refined. All I want is a good curve profile when I'm done. And um, in terms of, you know, the, the form being delicate and having a little... And uh, this, is, this is a rough, funky, chunky piece. And that ring is very handy for uh, it gives good structural support for uh, what I'm about to do, and that is use the stick from the inside to start pushing out the clay. Now I'm going to push it out some more. And it's not really started to show its texture yet. This is a pretty extreme push, and you notice the whole pot is wobbling, and that is also partially due to the fact that the clay is not really homogenous. But you can start to see, you can see the, the texture starting to form on the surface, the, the ultimate texture. And it's a texture that I've wanted to achieve for some time, several years even, and I could contrive it by putting things in my clay, but I didn't want to. And, and I wanted to find a clay that would throw this way, would throw funky and, and, and lumpy and bumpy and not not even. But um, now I'm going to cut away the excess because I, I trim all of my pots um, with the exception of coffee mugs and occasionally I trim coffee mugs. I, just, I like trimming. I like a nice foot. I like it to be appealing top and bottom and have little interesting um, extra things going on with it. But um, this is just a, a rough trimming, and you can tell the clay is really gooey. It's not coming clean very well, or very easily. I'm having to go over it a few more times. And I start to cut it, but then I realize there's um, a little bit more I can do. A little more I can do to the lip, just kind of true it up, and because um, the pie is really wobbly at this point, it's like bellied out and, and kind of um, uh, kind of eccentric in its rotation. But um, uh, I'm going to 
start to pet again and then stop and realize, well, there's water inside. I got to get that out. Or so, you know, cut a piece while you got it full of water. So, um, a lot of starting and stopping in this because, and when right here, I'm 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 checking to see how true the pot is. And it's true enough, you know. It's funky. Now nah, go ahead and cut it. And that's the end of it. But um, that's the finished piece, and you can see somewhat the rough, bumpy, funky texture that it's got. And that's what I wanted. 